If you have OSHA compliance questions or concerns, Pike Group's got you covered. Hey, what's going on? It's Captain Joe for Head First Fishing. We're here at St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. We're live in the store right now for a business hour, so it's probably a little bit noisy, but uh, I'm gonna give you a update, a fishing report. We're gonna talk about what's going on, what has been going on, and what's about to be going on with fishing here in Tampa Bay. So uh, it's the last week of November, and we're coming into a cooler, colder trend. Uh, up until now, the fishing has been really good. It's been generally warm. Um, there's been a lot of redfish activity. There's been big schools of bull redfish roaming around uh, off the beach and inside the bay. The snook fishing has been really good. I've had a couple of really good days catching a lot of snook and redfish around some of the oyster beds and main inlets into the island clusters in Tampa Bay. Uh, but that's going to be changing soon as now we have a major cold front coming through or a, cooler, uh, a lot cooler weather that's going to be happening this weekend. So today is November 24th and this coming weekend it's predicted to be colder. So now that we have this cold weather here, the grouper fishing should get really good. It's generally good throughout the year in Tampa Bay, but it's noticeable that a lot of groupers start to concentrate and get very active as we get these big cold fronts coming through the area. So you're gonna catch a lot more grouper in shallow, and especially in the bay, they're always accessible, and this cold weather will definitely fire them up. So my favorite baits of choice for those gag grouper are live pinfish or live perch, or cut thread fin in large quantities is always a good way to get the gag grouper fired up. Last but not least, we definitely have hogfish showing up in good numbers off the coast. Hogfish can be caught inside Tampa Bay, but they're not in significant numbers where you can go out and target them inside the bay. But if you venture out a few more miles, it could just be five miles or seven miles off the coast. There's definitely good numbers of hogfish. Personally, I like to go about 10 to 15 miles out I'm fishing about 50 to 70 feet of water, and that depth seems to have a lot of hogfish as well as, as gag grouper and mangrove snapper. You're gonna get your uh, knocker rigs, your standard bottom rigs, you're gonna get the bead rigs, and you're gonna load up on crabs and live shrimp. You can use frozen if you want, that works really well. So now's the time to start thinking about hogfish. The fall season is coming to a close and we're having a more cold type of fishing situation happen. So definitely come by the tackle store, stock up on the gear you'll need for the different species that you're fishing for. We've got everything you need from blue marlin to bluegill. Thanks for coming by this video. I'm Captain Joe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button, and I'll see you later.